Hello folks, Rick here. Today I want to do a quick video on what I call the voice of assumption. All right, so whether I'm on the phone, door knocking, at a listing presentation, the supermarket, if you want to have effective conversations with people to get them to talk with you, you have to have a voice of assumption. What does that mean? When I talk to you, I talk to you like I know you. I assume you want to talk to me. I assume you're going to answer me. It's just a subtle difference. It's not cocky. It's not arrogant. It's confident. So how do you do that? Okay, obviously take my success series, but okay, a quick little rundown is you always ask open-ended questions. What, when, who, where, why? Okay, so where do you live now? And you finish your open-ended questions on a downswing. Not an upswing at the end, because it sounds like I have no authority. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you, when do you plan on moving? How long have you lived at this address? So you ask open-ended questions and you finish your sentence on a downswing. Whatever they say, you repeat, approve, and ask the next question. So, oh, you've been there 10 years? Good for you. How'd you guys pick that house, right? Next question, all right? So that's how you have a conversation with somebody with the voice of assumption and get them to answer you. You ask open-ended questions, you repeat, you approve, you ask the next question. Now, what, and what that does, it lets people know that you're paying attention, that you care, it's always nice if you are interested in why they're moving or where they're going, which I think is relatively important if you want them to use you. And then, okay, when you're doing all that, then you take their personality style into consideration, okay? Whether they're an expressive personality, a driver personality, whether they're analytical or whether they're amiable. If you can get that pattern down, which just takes a little bit of practice, you will be a supreme communicator in this business. Now look, in a world where everybody's trying to not communicate, Social media, that's communicating, but not at the level I'm talking about. Emailing, texting, social media, that's all great, but eventually you're going to be in front of people, and when you can talk with the pattern I just mentioned, you will get the, your deal most of the time. Thanks for listening.